hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey i'm carmel i've got oreo down here very upset today is tuesday may 22nd and i'm heading to italy mom and i are doing a like mother daughter trip they're downstairs waiting for me haven't been vlogging because i've been like stressed out just life work the regular shit i'm always stressed out i've taken handles stress well off my resume because clearly i can't we're heading out to JFK and I'll catch you guys there. Hey guys, it is four o'clock or something in Italy. Um, it's been rough. I look rough. It's been a rough ride. We, our flight was like three hours delayed leaving because of like an engine problem in New York. And because our flight was delayed, we missed our train, whatever. We made it, we've checked into the Airbnb. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour and then I'm gonna change super quick and then we're gonna head out. My phone is also charging because it died. So that gave me really bad anxiety. And my nail broke. Ugh, I won't even zoom in, but my whole nail is like, deceased so i have to like cut and trim okay quick tour so this is the doorway when you walk in you have a little chair so we have this little entryway when we come in you have these windows as soon as you come in you have my mom's room hi oh hi and then she has a bathroom which is connected which is cute love the stone that's a cool shower and then it also like wraps around so moving on, we have this really pretty archway and it comes into the living room. We have these beautiful windows. Look at this place, you guys. It's so cute. This, ah, oh, stunning. Then we have like a fireplace, we have a TV, and the two couches, and then you come back here. We have like a little dining area and then this bathroom, which is super cute. It gives me just all Italy vibes. I look so rough, this is bad. This is ghetto, I literally look so bad. All right, whatever, moving on. <laughs> Down here, we have the kitchen, which is really cute. Um, we have an espresso, all the little appliances and stuff. There's a washer, um, and I think this is a window. Yeah, she says she gave us water, <laughs> one water. Look how stunning, gorgeous. Gorgeous, everything about it. This one has a full bed or queen, I don't know. Um, I just love this room. It is. It doesn't have like a bathroom to it, so there's that. But dresser, chair, and then there's this closet. Yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna like wash my face and try to tidy up super quick before we head out because I feel disgusting after traveling for 10 hours, 10 plus hours, and I also look, I look gross. All right, I'll catch you guys later. All right guys, this is a quick little outfit. I like washed up super quick. We're heading to the where gardens? Boboli Gardens. Boboli Gardens by the Pity Palace. So this is my fit. I'm wearing this crop top from Abercrombie. These pants are from Mango. They're super cute, they're like silk. And then I'm wearing my little sandals. I put my hair in a ponytail to hide how like dirty it is. And I'm using my Ray-Ban, my hexagons. So we're not doing any makeup because it's like 90 degrees, but we're gonna go and I will bring you guys along. Bye. Do it on the last day we're here. Because right now we're pressing. Okay, We're at the Pity Palace, the Palace of Pity, and it's scorching hot out. I would prefer the heat over the cold. The last time we were here, it was it snowing was cold. and cold. It was close because it was snowing. It was snowing and cold, and it was gross. And you and can't eat gelato. Hot. Yeah, but like you can eat gelato in this versus like in the in the really cold, like you can't. So I'm not mad about it. I'm not complaining. And am I getting over my fear of vlogging in public? We're trying. 
because they were just judging me very hard. Look how pretty. Okay. C'est pas grave, si on en croise plus tard, j'ai rien. Update, it's 7.49. We ate dinner. I didn't vlog it, but I'll have like little clips of what I got, because I posted Post on my Instagram story. We're heading back to the apartment. Oh, let's go look for a supermarket. I guess we're not heading back to the apartment. We're going to look for a supermarket to get water and such. So, are you having fun? Hi. Tired and drunk. Oh yeah, we had a glass of red wine at dinner and it was really strong, so. It's the next day. It's 7.30 right on the dot. We're heading out. I don't know where we're going. We're going to a church. <laughs> I will tell you when I get there or when I know because she told me the name. I don't remember. This is the fit. I'm wearing the dress from Reformation that I showed in my haul. This um, cardigan is from Brandy Melville because I need to cover my shoulders so I'll like, put it on when we get there. My never fail black camera bag and then I'm wearing my sandals. I've got our portable charger. One thing I love about this bag, it cost me literally 10 bucks, but it fits everything I've ever needed it to fit. Rest a bit with everybody. that's the bad show in the movie. And um, inside there are a lot of dresses belonging to the Roman period, uh, belonging to a city that coming from the uh, surrounding areas too. And Hey guys, today is Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, I don't know. It's 12 o'clock, I slept in because I haven't slept at all this whole trip. We went on like a tour, like a tour bus thing, and we went to um, 
Assisi and Cartova. And it was great, but it was a lot of walking. So I was like exhausted and we had to wake up super early for it. And I literally threw back shots of espresso like they were like shots of vodka. Like I did like three just back to back. It was bad. But I lasted all day. But right now my mom's already out. I'm going to go shopping. I, wa I really wanted to buy um, a bag while I was here. So we're going to go to Gucci because Gucci's made in Italy. I thought it would be a nice little reminder of the trip. So we're going to go. And it's a free day. We don't have anything planned. This is the fit. Wait. I'm going to wear my sandals. Black it. Black it. They're comfy. This is the fit. I'm wearing this top from Brandy Melville. These jeans are from Banana Republic. And then I have my little slides. And then this bag that my mom got in Italy last time we were here. So, comfy, it's casual, it's cute. I'm gonna head out and I will catch you guys later. Party people, hello. We're in Cinque Terre and I'm trying to get over my fear of vlogging in public. It's not going so well, but we're here. Say hi. Hi. We took pictures by the water and it's gorgeous. And now we're walking to find a bathroom. But it's really pretty here. And I wish I was able to swim because the water looked so nice. And then there were people swimming down there, so. Right. I gotta go. People are staring. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I accidentally got way too drunk at lunch. Like, I, I, I did not calculate. <laughs> Hold on. Pause. I'm gonna put my phone down. I didn't realize not only how strong the wine was, but also I had no water or food prior, only coffee. So I really fucked up. <laughs> I am ridiculously drunk right now. I'm not mad about it, but <laughs> that's where we're at. And I'm like trying to can like, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of like containing myself, but I'm very drunk right now. I'm very drunk, very happy, very grateful, but very, very drunk. And like my pants are wet because I like, I thought it was gonna be 60 degrees. It's like 80 degrees. I could have fully gone into the water. That's where we're at. I, I'm, the alcohol, oh, it's all the way up there. I'm very happy, I'm very grateful. And I just, just happy, just happy and grateful and drunk and happy and grateful but that's where I'm at right now. We're at Monteroso. We just had lunch and I didn't film lunch at all, but it was delicious. And um, now we're just sitting on the beach and I've never been at greater, I've never felt like more peace, more peaceful in my life, so. Anyways, if you were thinking about going to Italy, you should.
door because the more that it can get like air hey guys so it is sunday monday it's monday night i told you guys i was gonna do a haul and i never did it but i'm packing right now so and i need to get rid of the boxes so we're gonna do a luxury haul and i'm very excited about it most of the stuff is from gucci and then i got one thing from louis vuitton so the first thing i got <laughs> is the gucci this is the dionysus i got the medium one so there's a really small one um i think there's a small one that's like um, square this one is the rectangle and then there's the one size up which is the large i got the medium because i like that you can do it long you can do it crossbody, and then um Obviously, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. The large one, you can't really wear crossbody. I guess I could, but it was just also really big. This is the perfect size. I love it so much. I'm so excited. I've wanted this bag for over a year now, so I got it while I was here because um, the bags are a lot cheaper. The next thing I picked up is a top so it's a short sleeve sweater it has the interlocking g's it's cream with red did i say it's reversible because it is and i'm really excited about it because it's two sweaters in one so you flip it over and then it's the black with the cream or ivory interlocking g's this is so flattering it's also super soft the next thing i got <laughs> i'm gonna need to like really unbox this dust bag i don't want to take it all off because i want to keep it on for because i'm going to pack in my suitcase but this is the gucci marmont the camera bag is a little bit different um this is just the classic marmont it has the brushed silver interlocking g's which i love i did not shop gucci for a very long time because i'm not a gold person you guys know i mention it all the time whenever i'm doing hauls or anything i'm a silver gal through and through i think it was last year or two years ago they started introducing silver into their bags and accessories and things like that and that's when i started shopping their stuff because i love silver and especially the brushed silver when it's, where it's not super shiny oh, i love that i got it in white i got this in the smaller size there's again a, a really small one this is i guess the medium small and then there's a bigger one um i got this because the bigger one is the same size as the Dionysus. So this one's just a little bit smaller, but it's perfect. And then the um, strap is also the brush silver chain. I'm so excited. I don't have any white bags, and which is why I bought this one, because I've been wearing a lot of white, a lot of like neutral tones versus my usual all black. So I wanted to switch it up I picked up a belt for my friend this is just i don't want to unwrap it because i want her to be able to unwrap it but it's the thin interlocking g um belt in gold i picked my boyfriend up something and i'm very excited about it um the next thing i got is a pair of shoes so i saw these in store a couple months ago i wanted them i was very attracted to them I decided against them. They were about $300 cheaper here in Italy. So I was like, why not? Treat yourself. These are the Princeton loafers in this canvas. It has the big G's here and then the interlocking G's right up here. It has the horse bit. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. I feel like, I feel like here's the, they're very loud, but but I obviously wouldn't wear it with like, I feel like this is just too much, but it's great with like jeans and a white tee or a black tee, or maybe even like all black or all white. I think that could be really cute. This is definitely its own piece and I wouldn't wear it with anything else that's branded, but I, I am obsessed. I, I am very excited about it. I, I also really, really love my Princeton loafers. They were by far one of the best purchases I've made because I wear them all the time and they're super comfortable and they go with literally everything. The next thing I got, this is the Gucci Ghost ring, but I've wanted this ring for a, a couple years now, honestly. 
So it, it's just, it has the interlocking G's and then it has the Gucci Ghost. I've wanted this ring for a couple years now and I just never pulled the trigger on it, but <laughs> when in Italy. I also purchased all of this in Florence and that was actually the first Gucci store ever. So whenever I look at all of this stuff, I will remember that. The next thing I got is a belt. This one I'm excited for, so it's actually a reversible belt. This is also in the brushed silver but it's black leather. This is in like the medium like width. So you can wear it like this, right? Black leather wraps around with the silver or you can reverse it and then it's the interlocking G like canvas, just like that. I love it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and my Favorite thing about buying things that are like reversible is because it's really two things in one. At least that's how I justify it. And then the last thing I got from Gucci is another belt. Like I said, I've been wearing a lot of white lately and like nudes, taupes. So the shinier silver, it's a thin one in white. Um, just so that when I wear light colors and things like that, I have a belt that will match. And I'm excited about it so now I really have three belts I have a white a black and then a canvas I'm obsessed did I mention that I'm obsessed because I'm obsessed right and then I went to Louis Vuitton and I got one thing and I'm very excited about it it's also a lot cheaper here uh, all right here we go Isn't she gorgeous? This is the multi pouchette bag. I'm sure you've seen it around. It's super popular, but it's sold out everywhere in the United States. Like you can't get your hands on this in the US. Honestly, everywhere I go, it's sold out. I've tried Bloomingdale's. I've tried like wherever they sell this, like you need to, you need to be real tight with an essay at Louis Vuitton because you're not getting your hands on this. It's sold out everywhere. I also got it a lot cheaper here, so I'm not mad about it. I got it in the green strap, which is what I wanted because I love this green and I um, I like it better than the pink. I feel like the pink will get dirty easily, but what I love about this bag is that it's also multiple bags in one. I'm not wearing pants right now, so I can't like stand up and show you. It comes with the little gold chain, so you can do the chain in front. You can do the chain as a handle and do it with these two bags or just you know, just the one. And then it also has the little detachable coin purse here, which is where I like to keep the chain. I'm very excited about this bag. I love it. It's a more casual bag compared to like the other two that I got from Gucci. I feel like this is just more of like an everyday bag, even though I've been using this every single day since I got it. So I'm very excited. This is a very New Yorker bag, I feel. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how a bag can be a New Yorker bag, but you know what I mean. All right, you guys, so that is my luxury haul. I'm very, very, very excited about everything that I got, and I don't regret it at all. These were not like, this was kind of an impulse shopping spree, but at the same time, like I worked really hard, and I did a lot of overtime, and I came here with the goal of like shopping and treating myself and having fun i don't do this very often like when have you guys ever seen a luxury haul on my channel never because i i rarely ever you know buy things like this or especially in this like all of this stuff at one time excited i'm very happy with everything i got i worked really really hard for all of this so to be able to afford it like i worked hard for it i don't want anyone to think that this is like i don't know i don't know i'm just putting it out there i'm sure nobody thinks that but just brings out there like I worked really hard to be able to afford this and to do this for myself my mom did not pay for this at all like nobody's giving me money like this is fully me and my hard work and I earned this I deserve it and all of these things I know that I'm gonna use for years I'm gonna give these bags to my kids one day and I am just I'm very very happy so now I have to figure out a way to pack all of this shit in my suitcase and I'm sad because that means I need to get rid of the boxes. Like I can't keep the boxes. I also tried breaking it down and it doesn't break down. So 
that's unfortunate. It's not like I have any need for the boxes anyway, but we're gonna figure this out, how to pack it because we go to Venice tomorrow. I also fucked up and didn't bring a converter. Once my batteries for my camera die, that's it. It's a wrap. I think I can make it until Saturday, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna pack and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, party people. It's Tuesday, it's 11.30. We are here in Venice. We just went to the hotel, dropped off our stuff, came out, landed in Bottega, and I've decided on the bag that I'm going to buy next. And I'm very excited about it. But I have to see if I can find it in the States because the color I want, which is the emerald green, they have two in all of Europe. Did I, oh, they didn't tell you that? They have two in all of Europe in the dark, pretty green that I want. And it's in Dubai. It's not here. So, that's a no. Hey guys, so update it is. Where's my phone? It's three o'clock. My mom went on a tour and I did not go but I'm going to head down to Cafe Florian, which is where we just had like a light lunch earlier. I'm gonna insert all the clips that I took on my phone and that were like on my Instagram stories because my camera battery died, so I didn't get to vlog it. But we bought a suitcase, well, I bought a suitcase so that I can shop some more. But it's really nice outside and it's freezing here, so I'm gonna go down to the Cafe Florian and just order a bunch of drinks and read. I didn't get a chance to read this on the plane. This is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I read it on the train this morning a little bit, but um, I brought it so that I could finish it on this trip. So we're gonna head down, read, drink. It'll be a good time. Their drinks are really good. It's a pretty expensive cafe, but the drinks are really good. And I'm on vacation, so I'm gonna treat myself. So I'm gonna head out and then I will catch you guys there. All right, you guys, it is 7.56. <laughs> I finished my book. I was reading Verity by um, Colleen Hoover. Oh, nine out of 10. Such a good book. It completely fucked me up though. But like all of Colleen Hoover's books just like fuck me up. It was so good. I did go to Cafe Florian. Cafe Florian. I got drunk. I was reading my book the whole time. I literally just had two chapters left when I got back to the hotel because it was so hot. I ate, I got drunk, I read my book, I listened to music, they had live music. It was a great experience. 10 out of 10 recommend, especially if you find yourself just having some time by yourself. If you're ever in Venice, I mean, I don't know. It was so good, I'm very happy I did it. I spent $100 on three drinks, <laughs> but I think it was, a great experience and I'm glad that I did it I spent some time by myself I wasn't on my phone and it was great and everybody there was great but right now um, not doing an outfit change wearing the same thing just with a cardigan I'm going to head out and meet my mom for dinner let's do my hair for a sec guys I am still so super drunk and this is so bad um, okay that looks cute I look like put together Somewhat. This is the fit. <laughs> um, this is Banana Republic, Abercrombie and Fitch. These are Banana Republic, and then, ooh, <laughs> Adidas. I'm using my Louis Vuitton mini pouchette. So that's the vibe. We're casual. We're cute because it's like later out. I'm anticipating it, and like we're. 
obviously in Venice, so we're on the water. Um, I'm anticipating it being a little bit colder. My phone is charging a bit because when I got back to the hotel, naturally I didn't fucking charge it. I can last on like 10% probably. Guys, I'm so drunk right now. It's so bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're heading out. I got to pull up my GPS and I will catch you guys later. I was supposed to vlog, but I didn't. This is Prosecco with lemonade and something. It's really good. I'll have the screenshot of the menu. My mom got the Red Frito, which is cranberry juice, gin, something else, something else. Again, I'll have the screenshot of the menu, but it's great. And vibes, immaculate. Dinner reservation secured. We're gonna head there after. We are pre-gaming. Living my best life. <laughs> right. Must be nice to have a mom like me. It is. We have Ace and Mobile Wall. This one mobile wall that's three pounds water, full of water inside. You guys, I'm so drunk right now. <laughs> it didn't get better. We had dinner and it actually got worse. So, that's where we're at. That's my Italy trip summed up. <laughs> Been drunk this whole time. But here's San Marco, San, San, San Marco Square. San Marco Square. The Saint of Marco Square at night. It's gorgeous. But I'm drunk. I'm very content with my life because YOLO. My mom is also drunk and she's trying to hide it, but I know she is. So it's okay. <laughs> All right. We are walking a little bit and then we're gonna head back to the hotel. 